Hey guys, Peter here to tell you about the latest from Stellar Circuits, Sight to Sound, out June 9th on Nuclear Blast. This album has 11 tracks, 48 minutes in length, and this is the band's second full-length studio album. They are an American progressive metal band. From a design point of view, the best way for me to explain what it meant to listen to this record is to compare it to a great book. When you're reading a great book, you're not necessarily looking at how many chapters you've read and how many chapters are left. You just engage with the moment that you're in, the page that you're currently on. And when you turn that page, that engagement continues onto the next page. This album is exactly the same. It's about the moment. It's about the song. And then when that song finishes and you move on to the next one, you carry their experience and you move it forward almost in a seamless way. Not a record that puts forward a very specific path or has a very specific design and finish a line in mind, but rather an album that allows you to kind of dictate exactly what it's going to give you. Depending on how you come in, depending on how you approach it, the design of the record really allows you to lose yourself in it and appreciate every single moment like if it was its last. This adds great playability, great fluidity, making the album super entertaining from start to end. As far as the sound is concerned, I have to say this album has a very warm sound experience. That warm sound experience matched with uh, oversimplification of the details, making this record straightforward at times, easy to grasp, easy to understand, with all the different elements coming together as one, but still keeping their own shape and their own identity in a very clear way, allows you to feel almost like you're being hypnotized by the sound. This album has a great hypnotic effect as far as the sound experience is concerned. The crisp quality of it adds to that hypnotic effect because it's an album that just feels like it doesn't hide anything. You don't have to peel a bunch of layers in order to, tr to understand and grasp the concept of the song or the mood or atmosphere that the track is trying to give you. Everything feels organic. Everything feels natural. It's an album that at times it just feels like they press record and they went with the first take. Whatever felt most natural to them, that's how this album comes across sound-wise. Like I said, hypnotic with a very organic feel, very warm experience. Within that warm experience, perhaps the element that impacted me the most, or at least that allowed me to connect with this album the most, is the bass sound. I really enjoy the bass sound throughout the entire record. First of all, I enjoy how much it pops, how noticeable it is in the overall mix. How, how it drives some of the songs, how it impacts some of the atmosphere, some of the mood that the tracks have. Great bass sound on an album like this, on a progressive metal rock album like this, is an important factor in order for you to feel like the album is pulling you a little bit deeper, that has a little bit of soul, and that organic vibe really comes to the forefront. And I felt like this album had all of that in spades. The bass sound definitely became the highlight of this record and one of the reasons I connected with it so much. The other two elements, guitars and drums, play an important role, of course they do, but they didn't have that defining factor that the bass did. But the drums still play the role of being a little bit more complex at times and pushing the elements a little bit further. They are diverse in terms of what the songs call for and what the songs need but they're consistent in terms of grounding the tracks and giving this album a little bit of a spinal cord outside of what the bass is already doing. The bass is the nerve system, the drums are the spinal cord. As far as the guitars are con concerned, I love the fact that they are complex, they're diverse, and a lot of the movement of the tracks, a lot of the direction that these songs have are definitely defined first and foremost by the guitar sound. The guitar sound dictates if the song has a little bit more bite, if the song is a little bit more melancholic, if the song feels a little bit more heartfelt, if there's a little bit more emotion behind it, if it's a little bit more organic, or if it's a little bit warm. All of these elements really start and end with a guitar sound. A guitar sound that's not necessarily in your face, not overly technical, or not technical at all, at least not over the top. I mean, there's technical elements to it, but this is not an overly technical sounding record from a guitar standpoint. Once again, simplifying the elements, allowing you to better understand the experience. But the guitars are a huge part of their experience in terms of the diversity that they offer. When it comes to the vocals, I am a huge fan of the clean vocals on this record. I am a fan of the layers that they used throughout the album. The harsh vocal, I shouldn't call it harsh vocals, the screaming vocals, 
work well in the few songs that they're used. And they work well because it's only really in a few songs. Because I feel like this is an album that didn't really need it that much of it. You don't need that much intensity, you don't need that much aggression, you don't need that much exteriorization of what you're feeling on the inside. This is an album that is more reflective. It makes you ponder. And you can do that a lot better with the clean vocals leading the charges. And it's such a great tone, such a great delivery as far as those clean vocals are concerned. So I'm really happy to say that perhaps 90% of this record is based on those clean vocals. And then those screaming vocals are just a spice, but definitely not an ingredient on this album. For someone who's not necessarily a fan of progressive metal or progressive rock, for somebody that came in with a lot of question marks, because the few times that I've came across this band, I felt like they were less than stellar, this album checked a lot of the boxes. And I think it came down to two elements. The simplicity of how everything comes together, and then the organic feel that the songs have because of that same simplicity, and the bass sound matched in with those clean vocals. These are the condiments that made this album stand out in my mind and that allowed me to enjoy this record as much as I did. A very unique sounding album from that perspective because it keeps everything on the down low, but it allows you to dive deep into it if that's your desire. As far as favorite songs are concerned, I want to start off with Skull Beneath the Smile. Bigger, more dynamic sound in this song. The vocals bring in some clarity to the sound that the track has. It has great guitar sound and the drums really complement that same guitar sound. Using the screaming vocals in pockets adds intensity to the song. It works in this track because once again, they're not used or overused throughout the entire album. And even on the songs that they are used, they're sporadically sprinkled in in order to just give you the right jolts at the right time for the energy of the song to not allow you to almost fall asleep on it. So this track uses it really well and it allows the song to open up a little bit more. The chorus is perhaps the heaviest moment of the song, vocally and sonically, and allowing this track to close off on a heavy, intense note puts an exclamation mark right all the way towards the end. Next you have Alchemy, great bass sound. This song has outstanding bass sound. It integrates really well with what the drums and guitars are doing, allowing for a more spacious sound experience in the verses, really spacious. The verses of this track feel like there's no boundaries, there's no walls, the sound is just expanding and traveling through empty space. The chorus increases a little bit of the presence of the song or boxes in the song a little bit more. It puts some restraints that weren't there before. It has bigger volume musically and vocally definitely a little bit more intense. The overall backing vocals that they use on this track definitely adds to the experience that the sound is trying to provide. The screaming vocals once again break the glass ceiling that this song have. You feel like sometimes the track has no ceiling or has no walls but when those walls come about, you need something to break them so that you can go back into that empty void. And the screaming vocals are definitely that element that breaks that glass ceiling. It's a song that has some heavy jolts at times, that has some moments that you lose a little bit track of clarity and it becomes more emotionally driven, but it's a track that finds its way back to its original format and that makes everything feel complete in its design and its execution. Last but definitely not least, Learning to Sleep, a very hypnotic sounding song. There's plenty of these on the record. The whole album feels very hypnotic, but this track really has that essence, you know, down to a T. The bass pops once again becoming a huge part of the sound. It adds soul to the way this track comes across. Musically and vocally, the song is really well integrated. The two blend really well with one another and it has a little bit of a calm and subtle experience. It almost feels like a very abstract song. It's a song that doesn't define itself like an abstract painting. It comes down to the interpretation of the listener. And this track feels that way. It feels like the listener, or depending on the listener, you're gonna get something completely different out of this song. It's almost a blank canvas that you are the one really deciding what's gonna go on it and what that canvas will become. The bass is a huge factor on this track, and I think it's the factor that holds the red line that connects the entire song 
from beginning all the way to the end. This is it, Stellar Circuits with Sight to Sound, out June 9th on Nuclear Blast. Let me know your thoughts on the band, on the singles. Use the comment section below. I'll be reading those and getting back to you. Take care, guys.